beautiful soul thank you so much for listening to me today so today is actually saturday and it's a very interesting day it's 3 13 3 13 and what's significant about that day is one year ago today is where technically the world shut down because of the covid virus and we entered quarantine and a lot has changed in one year and it's so crazy how it's already been a year but it seems as if it was so long ago but yet so short (laughs) I digress but anyway I really wanted to talk about something that was just on my mind and I mentioned before about a lot of changes have happened within a year and one of my I say most recent and biggest changes was me developing a platform in the world now this is something that I still (laughs) what six months into the game I'm still getting used to it it's something that's different that something I've never quite experienced before but the most amazing things in life happen when you least expect it I'm right now driving in a car on my way to the store and the license plate in front of me has 4488 and 77 and then the letter in front of the 404 is Q Q for queen (laughs) but yeah so I love my numbers follow me everywhere but I wanted to say that so much has changed in my life and I will say that I feel like this whole pandemic has really made me a lot more patient just with everything with myself with other people with the world with everything now I've been a very impatient person in the past so there are some times I convert back to those old ways it happens but in moments where we all fall short I still do my best to stay as as patient as I can and I was just thinking is that um, when as I go back to talking about I gained a platform on on TikTok now it was crazy because I've kind of gone I kind of went viral a, a couple of times once it was about narcissism the second time it was just a 15 second video saying the past has no power over your present stop living in it <laughs> Sorry, you can probably hear that very loud motorcycle, but if you missed what I said, um, I said the second time that I went viral on TikTok was, there was a 15 second video where I said, the past has no power over your present. Stop living in it. And I think that that is still my most played video to this day. And the third time I went viral was talking about my Twin Flame series. And what happened with my twin flames what happened with my twin flame series was I spoke a lot about signs meeting your twin flame and talking about the twin flame journey and I talk about everything, the separation period, etc. The separation period video really hit a lot of people and it really explained things in such a way and it reached the right people and I've actually cre- developed new friendships because of this so it's, it's truly a blessing I never knew how much of an impact it would truly have on the collective it was just something that intuitively I was guided to do but I get a lot of questions from that one specifically and a lot of people say well how do I know they are my twin flame? And a lot of questions about how do I know? How can I be so sure? And there's really no one question for that answer. Really. But I will say that one amazing thing about the twin flame journey is that it is teaching you to be very present. It is. And 
one thing that I definitely can attest for sure is that when you first meet your twin flame for the very first time, you remember that moment so vividly, so vividly. I need you to move out of the way, car. You remember the moment so vividly because you were very, very present in that moment, that day. I mean, you can remember what was going on that day, what you were wearing, what you looked like, you know, who you spoke with. There are so many things that you can remember so very well because you were very present in the moment. And that's something that I replay that that whole scenario in my head several times. It's very comforting, but I replay that that very first moment of meeting my twin a lot of times in my life and well, since then. And I can recall it so vividly because of how present I was in the moment that this happened. And definitely, I will say this, is that the day that you met your twin flame, when your twin flame walked into your life, or you walked into theirs, or really, you walked into each other's life, you were both at the right place at the right time. And what happens is that you both remember that first initial meeting so strongly that it is stuck in your brain. Because in that moment, you are present with your present self and your higher self. I can remember being in that moment and my higher self was talking to me very clearly, guiding me, telling me what to do, telling me to go there tonight. Make sure you have this. Make sure you do this and go sit at that bar Go sit at that bar. That's where you're going to talk to them. And lo and behold, what did I know? By listening to my own inner voice, I did everything that I was supposed to do. So if you can think back to the day that you met your twin flame, and you can remember that moment so vividly, where it's like you can still see it, you can still hear it, you can still smell it. That is your twin flame. That is your twin flame because when your twin flame walks into your life, it hits you out of nowhere. You will never have predicted how they walked into your life. You never would have predicted that this would be them. This is what they would physically look like. You could never have predicted it. And ever since, from that very first moment, from that very first initial meeting, from that very first time, you just had a whole new outlook on life. Now, if we're thinking about situations where a person kind of feels like a twin flame, but the first initial meeting, it seems just very vague. It's, you can, you can't really recall much of those memories or it's not as, not as open, not as clear in your memory. Perhaps the person that you're dealing with is a soulmate or they could be a false twin flame because I do believe that there are many people out there that have found their twin flame collectively there's of course but also with everything that trends everyone wants to be a part of a trend and some people will force themselves to be a part of a trend because they want to jump on the bandwagon And usually, perhaps it's the people that will always raise the question is, how do I know for sure? How do I know? If you know, you know. Because before you even knew the term twin flame, you just felt that something was specialist and significant about that person. Before you even knew there was a term, because it's a soul connection. You don't have to have a title to know that there's a soul connection between you and another person. But to put a title on something because you want to be labeled as this title, 
that's where we can fall short. Now listen, just because you may be a person that does not have a twin soul, you may not be a twin flame, does not mean that you will miss out on anything in life. You can marry a soulmate, be with a soulmate and have the most beautiful, amazing, loving experience of your life. You're not going to miss out on anything. So let's stop looking at it as, I don't have a twin flame. I'm not a part of this trend. My life is going to be so much different. No, baby, it's really not. And because listen, twin flames are light workers. Your life has been different since the moment you popped out of the womb. Different. It's been a difficult journey for you. And you feel as if you have a strong mission in this world. And by the time you met your twin flame, it was something that you possibly didn't even believe or think didn't even think could possibly happen to you because of so much pain that has happened to you over the course of your years. But meeting your twin flame and going along that journey and being a twin soul is a life altering experience. It's a very beautiful journey, but it's also a very painful one. And we speak on the beauty, but no one truly knows the pain unless you are going through the journey yourself. And when we say that when twin souls, it's very important to us of this whole journey because everything that we are going on, everything we've been through, everything we're currently going through, it's no walk in the park it's not a fantasy or a fairy tale so we aren't necessarily romanticizing the entire journey we are just tending to focus on the beauty of it and not focusing on the pain as much Because who wants to talk about all this pain that you're experiencing within this connection? Instead, talk about the beauty of it. Be grateful for the positive. Why dwell on the negative when we can focus on the positive? Life is changing. Life is evolving. And many people are awakening to who they truly are. And if who you truly are is a twin flame, you are a twin soul you have an amazing life ahead of you you have an amazing journey ahead of you your bad days won't even compare to your good days that are coming this driving force to be with this most powerful love that you could ever experience in your life makes all of that pain worth it Continue to stay on your journey, no matter how difficult it gets. Continue to stay in faith and know that something beautiful can come out of anything. When God created the world in seven days, all God had to do was speak and it was there. God is powerful. God creates the Possible, out of the impossible. There is nothing impossible when there is God present. Remember that. This is a divine connection. Divinely guided. The divine is going to step in at any given moment when both souls are ready and bring this into a beautiful completion. But it's up for the twin souls to do the work. The work is not external. The work is internal. Giving yourself grace. Giving yourself forgiveness. Giving yourself understanding. Giving yourself love and comfort and nurture. 
giving it all to yourself because you are the one that deserves it. You are. It's self-love. And self-love is love for your twin. Why? Because you are your own twin flame. Twin flame just means you share a soul. So when you do things to fulfill your soul, you are fulfilling the other half of your soul. When you are healing your soul, you are healing the other part of your soul that's just sitting in another body. It's all you're doing. So when it comes to the healing and wanting to be with your twin flame, wanting to have this beautiful union, think of it as, as I heal my soul, my twin soul is also healed. And then that driving force makes you want to do the work yourself and pour into yourself more because you know that this is going to have a ripple effect. Don't think, oh, my twin flame has to heal himself. She has to heal herself. No, baby. You heal yourself. Your twin flame heals themselves. Your twin flame is healed as you heal yourself. This is a beautiful journey that we are on. I met my twin flame back in 2019. It's been a year and a half. And it's changed my life for the better. It's a complete turnaround. My life has never been the same. And I would never want to go back. But this whole entire journey welcomed me to my life's purpose. I never would have thought meeting my twin flame around the time I met them, that about a year later, I'm coaching people on twin flames, helping them along their journey. I never would have thought that would happen with me. But it did because I followed my soul's purpose. Just like you are following your soul's purpose, doing what you need to do for the collective, for others. We are all one. As we heal ourselves, collectively others heal. As we gain wisdom and knowledge, collectively others gain wisdom and knowledge as well because wisdom and knowledge should be spread. As we do the very things to raise our own vibration, we raise the vibration of the planet. We are all here, connected. As as we can say from that wonderful, amazing Disney movie, it's very true. You see, we are all connected in the great circle of life. The circle of life is even with your twin flame. When you meet them, you're in one spot. And then you learn, you grow and evolve and everything comes full circle. And you're back there again at square one, but it's a double zero. Because now instead of the individual, it's you two together. A fresh start, a new start, a new beginning. But you have more knowledge now, more wisdom, more healing, more light than you ever had before. Life is beautiful. And even in the most painful moments, we can find the beauty in it. So your job is to continue to heal yourself. Continue with the shadow work. Get yourself into a nice, comfortable position. Light some candles. Play some relaxing music, some soundscapes on Music Choice if you have Xfinity. Healing music on YouTube, classical music. Anything to calm. Instrumental music is what you want to use. Light a candle. Put on some comfortable clothes. Have a nice hot cup of tea, some water next to you. And think of some things that you've been through. Write it down. Write out all of the feelings that you have for that experience. 
and top it off by writing what you learned. And also, what will you do differently? Tell yourself that you are sorry for what has happened. Tell yourself you did not deserve to go through what you went through because you need to hear that. And last but not least, make sure you tell yourself that you love yourself. Make sure you say, I love you. Say it to you. Because when's the last time you heard someone say, I love you? You can tell it to yourself every day. And as we heal, as we evolve, and as we grow, we are doing more change to this world than we ever do. Because just imagine life is one big circle and everyone is joining hands in peace, love, and harmony. The age of Aquarius. We all join hand in hand together in love and light and wisdom and faith connected hand in hand heart by heart mind by mind in the great circle of life thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked Please leave a like, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel so you can catch more future content. Thank you.